Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the BIOS on pretty much any ASUS computer. Uh, this could be used for more than just ASUS, it could be used for pretty much anything. But specifically we're using the G750JX-DB1T I believe, the SSD slash HDD combo with a GTX 770 mobile. Um, right now we're on a different computer, we're on the X202E, but I will switch over to the G750JX in a little bit. So first off, you're going to go to a web browser. You can open up pretty much anything. I'm just going to use a portable browser so my bookmarks and history and everything doesn't get in the way and interview the video. So I created a really, really easy way of doing this. You can go to bit bit.ly slash J or G. 750JX and that'll take you to the uh, support site. Now alternatively I also have the X202E which is a $399 touchscreen laptop. It's bit.ly slash X202E and that takes you right to the support site for that. So it's very convenient and it's there for you guys. This is the model we have. So we're just going to go to Windows 8 64 bit and we're going to scroll down here until we see BIOS right here and 208 uh, you'll see right here the G750JX I don't know what the JXA is but this is the one we have so we'll just hit the global right here and we'll just hit save file open it up save it to our downloads and that should be done yep that's done so we can go here to our downloads and there's going to be this folder right here and We'll open it up, and there's a single file in there. It'll look just like this right here. Just take it, drag it to your desktop. And I'm using 7-Zip. It is a free open source thing, so it's to me it's better than paying for WinRAR or any other thing. So we're going to right-click on this, and we're going to send to our pin drive, our little flash drive. Now, you'll want to make sure that you don't put it in a folder. You Technically, you can but it'll make it a little bit harder to find. So there we go, G750JX. Why does that say AS? I, I don't know. Yeah, we downloaded the right one. So yeah, we're gonna go from here. All right, so that's done. When we open up that flash drive, we should only see that one file on there. Or we, you can be more, more than one file. I would just make it simple. Format it, FAT32, drag this file onto it, and then you wanna go ahead and just safely eject that flash drive. All right, now we'll switch over to the big computer. All right, so while it's off, you just want to go ahead and keep hitting that F2 button to get this thing in the BIOS. Okay, so what we can do here is we can just go to the general PC settings and then choose the advanced restart, and then it'll ask us what we want to do. So we're going to go ahead and troubleshoot and we're going to go to advanced settings and we're going to go to UEFI firmware settings and press restart and that is going to get us into our little you know BIOS mode and we can also verify what version of BIOS we have before we update so that's what this is going to do right here wait for waiting for it to you know of course turn back on this isn't working as planned all right I'm going to keep pressing the F2 button while it's restarting and it should take me into the BIOS. Yes, there we are. All right, so now we're in the BIOS, and we need to, we see that we have version 207. So what I like to do is you can go to Start Easy Flash right here, and it'll take us into this little thing, initializing, and... All right, this is not working as planned by any means whatsoever. So what we can do is we can open up Internet Exploder here. And then all we gotta do is, like we did earlier, just go to bit.ly slash g750jx. And then for our OS, only option there really is to choose. Choose BIOS Utilities, Global, Save As, which we'll just save it to our desktop. And then open that up. And we can just go over here, right click, choose extract, extract, and then hit setup. And then it should ask for this annoying little thing here. And then we'll just keep hitting next. So 
So we'll just hit Windows Q and then we'll search Win Flash and it'll be the result right here. And just click Yes, OK, and then you'll need to go down here until you find the flash drive, which is right here. And there's that file. Press OK. And then it'll say the BIOS file is correct. Press the flash button, update the BIOS, hit flash. I prefer doing this from Easy Flash, but I can't show you how it's doing it. It's really annoying because I just can't. Okay, so now hit exit. It's shutting down. And, and, and it's, it's frustrating. I can't freaking... It won't show the BIOS via HDMI. Yeah, see, now I'm now you're clueless on what's going on. Now I'm seeing this little number right here. Start erasing flash. And it says version build. I like having the newest BIOS to fix issues because BIOS is below, you know, Windows. It's it's Windows uses it it's hard to explain. So Unfortunately, my monitor is not capturing this because for some reason this computer decides not to display the BIOS via HDMI, which is kind of frustrating. And while it's restarting, we'll hit F2 again. I'm just hitting the F2 button. Keyboard just lit up. All right, we're back in the BIOS, and as you can see, we're in version 2.0.8. I'm going to upgrade the RAM. I've got two sticks of 8 gigs, so it's going to be like 24 gigs here very soon. And what I like to do is go over here to um, boot and launch CSM, change that to enabled. Oh, so i got to go over here to secure boot first. Security, secure boot, disabled and then go exit and then go back to boot and choose enabled I don't know what this one is I'm gonna google it and find out eventually but yeah I don't know so then we're just gonna go over here to save and exit changes and we're good to go That was how to update the BIOS. I will show you something here. I'm gonna go ahead and power this one down. I'll I'll up, let it update and restart, but uh, I'm gonna switch over to the other computer real quick just to show you what I'm talking about. So on our other computer here, we should be able to just keep smashing the F4 key, and it will take us into Easy Flat. There we go. See, I wish you could have saw that earlier. This is what you're gonna see on your computer and it's initializing please plug in the AC alright alright so we plugged in AC power and that's what I was talking about earlier you have to be plugged into the wall and you have to be your battery has to be in so press enter alright so this is what I was talking about you'll see like F, FS0 FS1 FS2 anyways uh, 0 is what it is for me and obviously this is the X202EV as you can see right now and the BIOS build dates that so this is obviously not going to flash but you'd press enter and it says model does not match return the easy flash page so that's what you would do and then it would just flash through and keep going this is what I wish it would have showed you earlier but it didn't if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe I've got videos on how to upgrade the RAM on the G750JX I've got videos on how to swap out the SSD that's in it for a bigger one or if your model doesn't come with an SSD how to put one in it and I've just got I've got tons of videos to do and not enough time to do them all. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. This is what would Josh do in a mount.